All right, everyone, welcome back to the Theta Communications YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be going over some imminent updates that are coming from the Theta Edge Cloud, as well as some other updates from the Theta Token side. All right, first and foremost, let us thank our Theta stakers, as well as our T-Fuel stakers over on ThetaCommunications.com. You guys make this all possible. Appreciate the support. As well as make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below on the video to boost Theta-related content in the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's dive in. Let's head over to the Theta website. We are launching mobile edge nodes in one day. So in one day, 3.9 billion Android devices are potentially enabled to become edge nodes. This is a huge milestone, huge step in bringing compute power to the edge to these small devices that are all in our pockets at all times and truly uh, pushing the next chapter of the vision uh, that we we saw many years ago to uh, offload some of these resources right in previous videos we've talked about the strain on the electric grid and if we can uh, take some of these tasks and push them to the mobile devices we can offset some of that cost that may become burdensome to the grid itself. All right, let's go over to the Edge Cloud uh, for mobile medium article here from March. Let's just define what's going to be going on uh, in the first initial pilot of the uh, Edge Node program for mobile. And it looks like they're going to be doing a object detection uh, through this process. Basically, you're going to have uh, like okay defining this is a tomato this is a fork and they define down here as well like what this will be used for where this is going to be uh, you know how long was the tomato in the frame did it move did it go over here you know time stamping there's a lot of use cases that can be derived from this technology and it's actually uh, it's great to see this kind of progress because this was one of the uh, one of the things that was seen in the show Silicon Valley, where Jin Yang made a uh, an app that was trying to do this in like 2015, 2016. But the problem was in the show is really funny. It only did hot dogs, so it was either hot dog or not hot dog. So it only had one parameter parameter to define from, and that was you know the the app Seafood, uh, you know, is the base layer of you know all of this AI tech and now we've progressed beyond that we're now you know we are at the point where we can actually define uh, beyond this level so really really funny episode um, <laughs> funny to watch them try to raise money off of this hot dog or not hot dog app um, but now we can identify you know with AI you know well beyond that time stamping uh, you know the the future looks bright and, and it's progressing very, very quickly, right? Something that we thought uh, would potentially take a decade plus is now condensed uh, into a smaller time frame. Very exciting. All right, let's go down here. We're gonna see uh, that you can set for your phone or your wireless device uh, when to run or seek out jobs. So if device is on Wi-Fi, you can enable this or charging because I'm assuming that when this is running, it's kind of like running your edge node. If you pull up your specs on your computer, uh, you might be using more, uh, you know, more power. So your battery might drain a little bit faster. So I think it'll be important to play around with these settings as well as if you are or have a secondary device and you don't need it, um, maybe play around with it while it's on a 5G or 4G network and see for us as the community members how long your device lasts and uh, you know send us some information or post on Twitter. Uh, all that knowledge and all that data is going to be super important and uh, that feedback is going to help the Theta team improve the uh, mobile edge node. All right, so play around over there and we'll be excitedly waiting for the next day or so to see how that progresses. Another big uh, piece of news, and Mitch has uh, retweeted this here, uh, is that Theta is now on Binance Japan, which is a big step forward. 
uh, Binance Japan, good regulatory environment. They're pretty strict about things, but getting Theta over there and partnering again with Binance is a big step. Um, hopefully, we'll start to see some stuff uh, within the U.S. soon. But again, the U.S., everything is very unclear. It's a very hard business environment right now. Uh, we highlighted this with some of the Temu stuff and uh, the tariff stuff in the last video. If you didn't see it, definitely go check it out. But I think, uh, yeah, Mitch and, and team, their focus on, uh, you know, South Korea, you know, Southeast Asia in general, and uh, Japan, it's a big, it's a big step forward because right now in America, uh, crypto is just unknown. We don't know the path forward. So you got to make moves elsewhere and where rules are defined and uh, push forward. So, you know, what's great about the Theta ecosystem uh, business model is it's not isolated to jurisdiction, right? There are rules and regulations for each jurisdiction, but it's a open-ended business model that is not uh, domestically bound. So that's very exciting. All right, and on the last thing for the agenda this day, we'll go over to Thetacon.org. The Zilli Award voting is happening now until the 30th. Make sure to go vote Most Promising Project, Best Theta Advocate, Best Online Broadcaster, Best Social Personality, Best Use of Theta Tech. Make sure to go nominate over there who you think is best and who has done a good job for the Theta community. As well as, I will be seeing all of you at ThetaCon 2024 in Las Vegas this year, December 8th through the 9th. Very excited to see you all again. Uh, should be a very exciting time at Resorts World in Las Vegas. All right, everyone. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And as always, I will see you all on T-Fuel Island. Take care. Bye-bye.